Hello everyone. Today I am demonstrating how we can generate e-invoicing directly from tally.erp9 with the API integration with ClearTax. So let us understand the process in actual data. This is my tally data where I have opened my company. So let us understand here I have one add-on as you can see. Under products and features I have added my TCP in my path once i add my add-on you can see the feature of e-invoicing menu on your tally screen so let us pass one sales entry and let us understand how it will happen so as we can see this is my sales invoice voucher where i have taken a sales invoice number and this is my sales bill date so let us try to pass an sales entry here i'll come and here I will select a party before select and party ensure that whatever required information you have to fill in tally you have filled like regular registration type and his registration number whatever required detail you have to fill for tally you have to fill then I'll just pass enter you can verify your detail from this window once you verify I'll select my stock item here I will select a laptop which I am going to sell to this party so let us understand before taking a laptop make necessary required statutory information add to this information. So let us understand here. I have given the HSN code and the tax rated which is required for the entry. Let's pass this entry now here. I have selected my laptop and I will put my quantity. I am selling five quantities and my rate is 50,000. So my total bill amount without GST is 2 lakh 50,000. Once I enter I will select my ledger of sales and I will enter tally will confirm the detail that this bill is sales taxable and here I will select the taxes that is CGST and SGST. So it will come automatically because I have made necessary settings in tally. So once I enter you can even use uh, this option and here you can see invoicing detail once I enter on this you can see nothing has an uh, over there nothing is uh, printed over there nothing is available there so once I pass this entry I'll show you how to generate an e invoice so you can see I accepted this entry now I'll come to the e invoicing menu under e invoicing I'll be having an option generate e invoice like if I enter on generate e invoice I will be able to see all the invoices which I have made on the same date. So you can see this is my invoice. You can verify 250,000 plus GST. So I will generate invoice for this bill. You just have to select this bill and here we will be getting one option generate invoice. Let's click on this option. Once we click on this option, it will process and go to the clear text site and here a message will come uploaded at clear text successfully. So whatever information of IRN government has given in a sandbox protocol that we will uh, get we will be getting in a tally itself. So whatever information updated you will get a message press enter the bill will uh, go from here and you will be getting information in sales information. So now at sales GST you can enter and you can verify your bill. My bill was of August month and this is my bill you can see I'll just enter on this bill and I will come to the e invoicing detail once I press yes and you can see all the e invoice related IR number and all information will get generated. You can also verify this invoice or you, it will get printed on your invoice also. Here I will print my invoice by clicking alt P. Now you can see your bill have the IRN information as well as QR code. You can scan this QR code and get your information. So this is how we can generate an IRN number and e invoicing from tally itself. If you want to cancel the invoice, we'll come to the cancel e invoice option and we just have to select the bill which we want to cancel and here we will be having an option of cancel e invoice. Just press cancel e invoices and you can put your comment on the comment box and once you comment you can enter and use accept button so the bill will get cancelled automatically and it will get updated on clear text portal and you can see this bill will get cancelled so thanks for watching this is how we can maintain a e invoicing in tally directly thank you